starting alphabetically, first up is Albania. Albanians have a tradition called Besa, a code of honor that emphasizes keeping one's promise and protecting guests at all costs. Besa is a word in the Albanian language meaning pledge of honor. The concept is based upon faithfulness toward one's word in the form of loyalty or as an allegiance guarantee. Moving to Armenia, it's considered good luck to throw water on someone who's leaving the house, especially if they're going on a long trip. So, you might get soaked when you're heading out. They also celebrate Vardavar, a water festival where people of all ages splash water on each other, originating from a pagan tradition. Moving to Austria, they have the Krampuslauf, where people dress up as Krampus, a demon-like creature, and roam the streets scaring children who've been naughty. In Azerbaijan, it's common to greet guests with salt and bread. If you accidentally drop the salt, it's believed to bring bad luck, and you have to sprinkle sugar to counteract it. Over in Belarus, they have Kupala night, where people jump over bonfires and search for magical fern flowers believed to bring good fortune. Belgium is known for its quirky mannequin piece statue, a little boy peeing into a fountain, often dressed in various costumes. Belgians also have a peculiar tradition of celebrating St. Nicholas Day by having children leave their shoes out in hopes of finding treats in them the next morning. In Bosnia and Herzegovina, during the festival of the Old Towns, people reenact medieval battles and dress up in historical costumes. Bulgaria has a unique tradition called Martinitsa, where people exchange red and white yarn bracelets for good health and luck. In Croatia, they celebrate carnival with the Zvonkari, men dressed in sheepskin costumes and giant masks to scare away evil spirits. Moving on to Cyprus, they have the Cat Festival at St. Nicholas of the Cat's Monastery, where cats are celebrated for saving the island from a snake infestation. In the Czech Republic, it's traditional for men to throw water on women and lightly whip them with willow branches on Easter Monday for good health and fertility. Over in Denmark, they have a strange birthday tradition. If you're unmarried at 25, your friends might tie you to a chair and cover you in cinnamon. It's all in good fun, but it's definitely bizarre. Estonia celebrates midsummer with huge bonfires and traditional singing and dancing. In Finland, there's a tradition of competitive mosquito swatting. Participants compete to kill as many mosquitoes as possible. There's also a tradition of wife-carrying competitions. Husbands race while carrying their wives, and the prize is the wife's weight in beer. In France, on April 1st, children play a prank called Poisson d'Avril, where they stick paperfish on people's backs. Over in Georgia, they have the Supra, a traditional feast with endless toasts, led by a toastmaster called the Tomata. Germany has the tradition of hiding pickle ornaments in Christmas trees. The first child to find it gets a special gift. Over in Greece, spitting at weddings is a common practice to ward off evil spirits. Don't worry, it's symbolic spitting. In Hungary, there's the Busojaris Festival, where people dress in scary masks to chase away winter and welcome spring. Next up, Iceland. People believe in elves and hidden folk so seriously that roads have been rerouted to avoid disturbing them. In Ireland, you might find people banging bread against the walls on Halloween to ward off evil spirits. In Italy, if you're single on Valentine's Day, don't be surprised to get a bocce perugina, a hazelnut-filled chocolate with a romantic quote inside. In Latvia, it's common to give new mothers symbolic gifts like black bread and salt to ensure health and prosperity for the newborn. They also celebrate Yanni, a midsummer festival involves singing, dancing, and jumping over bonfires. Lithuania celebrates Usgavanis, where people wear masks and costumes to chase away winter and welcome spring. Over in Luxembourg, they celebrate Pretzel Sunday, or Pretzel Sunday, where boys give pretzels to girls they like. And if the feeling is mutual, the girl gives him an egg on Easter. Heading to Malta, there's a weird superstition that cutting your nails at night will bring bad luck, so people avoid it after dark. This superstition is also popular in more countries. In Moldova, Martisor is celebrated in spring, where people exchange red and white trinkets for luck and health. Over in Monaco, the tiny principality hosts the prestigious Formula One Grand Prix, widely regarded as one of the most legendary and oldest circuits on the Formula One calendar, transforming its streets into a racetrack. Montenegro has a tradition where, when building a new house, a coin is placed in the foundation for good luck and prosperity. In Netherlands, 
The Dutch have a bizarre tradition of eating raw herring with onions, usually by holding it by the tail and eating it upwards. In North Macedonia, there's a custom called kolede, where children go from house to house singing carols and receiving treats, similar to Halloween. Now, Norway. People have a weird habit of hiding brooms on Christmas Eve to prevent witches from stealing them for a midnight ride. In Poland, during Easter, they have Schmigus Dingus, where boys splash water on girls they like. The wetter, the better. Portugal has a strange New Year's tradition of eating 12 raisins at midnight, one for each month, to bring good luck. Over in Romania, people believe that hearing a cuckoo bird on an empty stomach in spring will bring bad luck for the rest of the year. In Russia, sitting on your luggage or suitcase before a journey is considered good luck, believed to ensure a safe trip. Slovakia celebrates Christmas with a strange tradition where the head of the family throws a spoonful of laksa, a type of food, at the ceiling. If it sticks, it's considered good luck. In Slovenia, there's Kurenta Vanje, a pre-Lenten festival where people dress as currents to scare away winter. Spain has La Tomatina, the world's biggest food fight where people throw tomatoes at each other. Sweden celebrates Fika, a coffee break that's almost sacred. It's not just about the coffee, it's about slowing down and enjoying life. Over in Switzerland, it's considered polite to shake hands with everyone in the room when entering and leaving, even in large gatherings. They also have the quirky tradition of yodeling, which started as a way to communicate across the mountains. And in Ukraine, there's a tradition of weaving intricate Easter eggs, known as pisanki, with beautiful and complex designs. Lastly, the United Kingdom. Starting off with England, there's the Cheese Rolling Festival. People chase a wheel of cheese down a steep hill. Injuries are common, but so is laughter. Scotland, Hogmanay involves first footing, where the first person to enter your home after midnight should bring a gift for good luck, typically coal or whiskey. In Wales, there's the Mari Luid, where a decorated horse skull is carried door to door, and the group sings rhyming challenges to get treats. Finally, in Northern Ireland, during Halloween, children play pranks similar to trick-or-treating, but with more emphasis on trick. And there you have it, folks. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye.